My name is Dr. Tom Crouch. I am the senior curator of aeronautics at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. And I'm here to talk about the impact of ballooning on the 18th century. The invention of the balloon really was one of those incredible moments that captured everyone's attention. The wave of enthusiasm for the, the fact that human beings, after millennia of dreaming, could actually leave the ground, could fly, just swept across France and then across the rest of Europe and ultimately across the Atlantic to America. The balloon excitement began with a pair of brothers, the Montgolfier brothers, paper makers from Annonay, a small town in the Ardèche in the south of France, who flew their first small balloon on June 4th, 1783, from the town square of Annonay. They weren't using hydrogen in their balloon, they were flying hot air balloons, and again, what they thought they were actually doing. They didn't realize that their balloon was flying because it was filled with hot air. They actually were burning damp organic material, wet straw and rabbit skins, all kinds of things. They thought they were actually generating a new gas, like hydrogen or oxygen or, or nitrogen, and that's why the balloon was flying. But the news of what they had done way down in the south of France reached Paris and the excitement was just palpable. It was just extraordinary. And one fellow in the Academy of Sciences sort of passed the hat, raised an amount of money, and went to a chemist, Jacques Charles, and uh, gave him the money to do whatever it was the Montgolfiers had done in the south of France. And Jacques Charles, assuming that the Montgolfiers had filled their balloon with hydrogen, developed a means to generate hydrogen in large quantities, and he flew his first balloon in August of 1784. And it was an extraordinary moment. Uh, Parisians turned out in droves. One estimate is that the crowd for that first balloon flight in Paris was half the population of the city of Paris. And an extraordinary number of extraordinary Americans were there that day as well. And they were simply blown away by it, especially Franklin. When he first arrived in Paris, um, this caused an enormous wave of excitement in France. So the Americans in Paris uh, were not just bystanders, um, they were really part of the story of the invention of the balloon. Um, all over Paris, part of the excitement was seen in consumer products too, uh, selling prints that showed the balloons and the balloonists. You could, 1783, 1784, put the image of a balloon on a snuff box or a needle case or virtually any small consumer product, personal product, and it would sell like hotcakes. And so the balloon, in the very beginning, had a special psychological place in the hearts of Americans. And in fact, over the next decade, balloons would sort of become the symbol of change, the symbol of revolution, and what was happening in, in the world of politics and society.